Hey, I'm Patrick. Hey, I'm Steven. Uh, we're here at IFP's Independent Film Week. With producer, Minette Louie. Hi. The act of discovery is what keeps me passionate about making new projects. Every time, you know, someone sends me a script and, you know, I crack it open, it's sort of like, it's just pregnant with possibility and promise. Of course, then I get to the end and most time it sucks. But, you know, sometimes, as rare as it is, when it does happen, it's very special and it's sort of like, wow, only I know about this fantastic writer or writer-director. I should read a lot more than I actually do. I probably read like one a week. That's one more than I read. <laughs> and how many out of a hundred will be good? One. <laughs> probably one out of a hundred. But the thing is, I'm very picky about my projects. A lot of times nowadays I turn down projects that I like, but I don't necessarily know how to finance, you know, especially like dramas and that, that are really, really hard to finance and first time filmmakers are very hard to finance. I'm dealing a lot now with Hollywood agents, managers, lawyers, and it's, it's hard to mesh them with the indie world. A lot of them apply Hollywood principles and practices to indie films and it's very, very difficult to manage that just ten thousand dollars is you know right. not just ten thousand dollars it's my entire costume and art budget so they're asking for more money more perks more mm -hmm. everything exactly do you it's think they're just evil no comment <laughs> everybody always talks about how filmmakers should be on twitter and facebook and all this stuff and there's just so much noise out there and, you know it's great if the director can also multitask and also every so often but you know having worked with 20 directors now I understand that some of them just aren't built for that kind of thing and in fact it's might be detrimental for them to be on Twitter because it's too distracting get out <laughs> while you can't quit just, just don't do it quit no if you really 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 want to do it it's really hard it's very hard to be an independent filmmaker nowadays and it's not getting any easier. I would advise that you save up a lot of money if you're making your first feature or your second feature or whatever, whatever it is you're making. Um, I hope you have another job and save a lot of money and live off your savings while you're making your movie because that's what you have to do. And just be very, very realistic about the kinds of films you can make. So, you know, just be very realistic about what the industry is, what the economic climate is and the, you know, distribution deals. You know, talk to producers about what kind of deals are happening these days, um, and you'll realize that you really need to make very, very kind of small scale films. So, yeah, that's it. Or just, just quit. Or now. just quit. Just don't do just, it. That's that idea. The better idea to quit.